As the events in the Taurus field manifested through discrete phases, ancients watched on, mesmerised. Could these people make sense of the godlike activity taking place in the sky, and depicting the gods in the sky is apparent across the world? And scenes in Turkey may shed some light on these happenings that have mystified our graceful existence. Wait till you hear this. Archaeologists in Turkey believe mysterious 3,200 year old stone carvings are an astronomical map of the cosmos and an ancient calendar. The Yazili Kaya rock sanctuary in central Turkey, about 100 miles from Ankara, was first rediscovered by French historian and archaeologist Charles Texier in 1834. More than 90 figures, gods, animals and monsters were carefully carved out of the limestone bedrock in two chambers in the 13th century BC with a temple erected in front of them. And as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the rock sanctuary has long been understood as an important site for the Hittites. And almost 200 years after its rediscovery, experts are now only beginning to decipher what the figures really signify. And it turns out, the influence is of the figures they seen in the sky. An international team of researchers has now determined that the reliefs represent the cosmos, the earth, the heavens and the underworld, and depicts the Hittite's essential creation myth from chaos to order. Much as life and death are an eternal cycle, the relief also doubles as a chronicle of the passage of the days, months and seasons, like an ancient calendar, according to the researchers. A few miles northeast of the Hittite capital of Hattusa, the sanctuary dubbed Yazilakeya, or inscribed rock, lies atop a large limestone outcrop. And two roofless limestone chambers with dozens of carved figures are considered the Sistine Chapel of the Hittite religious art. On the prominent northern wall are depictions of the sun goddess Hebat and the storm god Tishub, the supreme deities of the Hittite pantheon and clear representations of the Squatterman event. On the east and west walls on either side of the chamber, lesser deities march in two processions towards the power couple. Although this was first seen by modern Europeans in 1834, even as recently as 2011, German archaeologists wrote that it is still by no means clear today what function the rock sanctuary actually fulfilled. But according to a new study published in the Journal of Skyscape Archaeology, the sanctuary was a symbolic representation of how the Hittites viewed the cosmos. These reliefs depict the varying levels of the universe, with the underworld below, the earth in the centre and the sky above, along with the most important deities. But they also convey the cyclical processes of renewal and birth, and according to a statement from the lead author, Eberhard Zanger, they depict day and night, the phases of the moon and the seasons, with each of more than 90 figures adhering to this system. The experts researching this idea determined that many of the figures indicated various moon phases and times of the solar year. In 2019, the researchers proposed that the Hittite people used the carvings as a form of calendar, moving stone markers back and forth along benches beneath the stone carvings in order to keep track of the progression of time. The procession of carved gods on the western wall falls into two groups, one containing 12 figures and the other containing 30 figures. Meanwhile, the eastern wall sports 17 deities, and the number of these gods, 30, 12 and 19, would have corresponded to the lunar cycle and the passing months. Markers under each line of gods would possibly have been used to keep track of the lunar days, the months and a third, 19 year cycle that was part of a calendar correction. And every 19 years, an extra month would have been added to the calendar, in the so-called metonic cycle in order to keep pace with the solar year. And it was previously thought that calendars using the intricate metonic cycle were not invented for another 700 years. The gods were elaborately depicted on a large scale, and this is staging, not merely computation, it's the manifestation in the sky. Since the supreme deities are located in the north on the map of the cosmos, they are associated with the circumpolar region of the northern sky where stars never disappear below the horizon and can be seen all year round. The researchers believe astronomical information was displayed so that the shrine entirely conformed to the full expression of cosmic order according to Hittite culture. 
The Hittite civilization lived on the Anatolian Peninsula in what is now modern Turkey. Establishing their empire in the late 17th century BC, likely between 1680 and 1650 BC. And at the height of their empire, in the mid 1300s BC, they ruled over much of Turkey and much of the Middle East and Upper Mesopotamia. The Old Testament references Hittites several times, including in Genesis, but experts can't agree if they are the same people or a distinct group. Eventually the Hittites were defeated and assimilated by the Assyrians by 1180 BC. They splintered into smaller city-states, some of which lingered on until the 8th century BC. But what do you guys think about the possibility of calendars being produced by godlike activity taking place in the skies above? Comments below and thank you for watching.